right now in Russia, if you say these three words, you're going to be in jail for six years. Dear friends, this morning I was going to talk about my return flight back from Florida where I had some meetings, but I woke up and I had a message, Peppo, please call me right away. And that came from a friend of mine in Italy that has been doing humanitarian work with the Ukrainian refugees. So he called me because he just entered the border with eight trucks bringing food, bringing clothing, and he was showing me videos of lines of people uh, at the border with Romania. They have now a facility in Romania where they can actually host some of those refugees, but there are literally hundreds of thousands of people. And he said, Pepo, they've been walking for at least 10, 12 hours. They have no bathrooms. It's so cold outside. It was minus six Celsius. Uh, and it just broke my heart. It got me because... Um, here we are in our warm homes with uh, shelter, with food, with bathrooms, and, and these people in 2022 are going through this. Yesterday, I had a friend actually from Ukraine that was here at the house. We were talking and he was saying, oh, Peppo, right now in Russia, if you say these three words, you're going to be in jail for six years. And the words are no more war. This is just unacceptable. And as believers, we got to be truly proactive. I woke up after I saw this message and I talked to him. You know, there was one scripture that really kept pounding at me. and was the scripture in Proverbs where it says, Do not withhold good when it is in your power to do so. And, and that was kind of resounding in my mind. And I thought, whoa, you know, what can I do? So I'm going to be helping with a little I can financially, but I would like some of you guys that are listening to this to please participate. I'm going to leave a link at the very end and I'm going to include some of the video that my friend was actually shooting as we were talking. And there are a couple of more scriptures that I wanted to read to you. Uh, one is in Galatians uh, 6.10 says, So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the house of faith. Again, my friend, my Ukrainian friend yesterday was telling me that uh, the Christian persecution also has already restarted. Uh, apparently, back in uh, 2017, even the Jehovah Witnesses were considered a terrorist group and persecuted. But now, apparently, Putin is going after the Protestant church because it's considered Western church. Here is another scripture, James 2, 15, 16. It says, If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you tells them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So please, uh, just watch this brief uh, video that he sent me. And then at the end, if you want to help, uh, just send me a note either here in the comment line or uh, send an email to uh, peppocast at gmail.com. And, and I give you the actual direct link to, uh, to give to this association in Italy that has been bringing in big containers uh, once a week. Devono fare qualcosa, fa freddo, stanno al ghiaccio proprio, bambini. Eccoci qua, siamo entrati oggi in territorio ucraino, siamo oggi otto furgoni, guardate, uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, otto furgoni. Ecco qua l'opera che stiamo svolgendo insieme all'Assemblea, il tiro che è arrivato ieri è quasi finito. Tutti i furgoni hanno aiuti umanitari e hanno tutte le calamite di salvati per servire. Tutti i furgoni hanno le nostre calamite di salvati per servire. Gloria a Dio. Dio benedica la sua opera. So my heart is heavy. I hope that uh, yours is going to be the same because we should be providing for brothers and sisters that are in need instead of just sit apathetically. There is actually a comment from Edmund 
Burke. He was a philosopher, a politician, an economist back in the 1700s in Great Britain, where he said, the only things necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. So let's not be caught in that trap. It's great to see you. Sorry, my heart is heavy, but I'll catch you next week. Have a good weekend. Ciao.